In this video, Ian is going to show you the difference between the 2008 to 2013 and the 2013 to present, which is 2016, Dodge Ram Cummins 6.7 turbo diesel turbo differences. First off, the earlier model 2008 to 2013 usually had an HE351VE turbo, which is the current kit that we have and sell. And a lot of the parts from that kit do work in the HE300VG. Pay close attention to this video and the differences in these turbos because it will make a difference when you go to rebuild your turbo. I will also leave a link in the description box of our rebuild kit for the HE351VE. Difference in the HE351VE and VG is that this one is thicker on the top and the older style is thinner. However, both of them work for both models and both actuators, which is kind of interesting because they both have the same teeth count. And then the thrust bearings, the newer style V uh, 300VG has a wider mouth here. It has two studs versus this one having one stud. And this one's got the shorter mouth on the older style. The older style they used from 2008 all the way to 2013. Well, 13 was when they changed it. And uh, yeah, so basically these are the differences. And with the newer bearing housing, they use a thicker bolt. Where the older ones, they use these skinnier ones and they had o-rings on the bottom and the newer ones they had like a thread tape on them but we wire brushed that off but we'll put some more on there and for the thrust collar they had dual seals in the front and they only had a single seal on the older one but keep in mind you can only use the vg with this plate because if you try to put the other one on there, it's not going to go through far enough to make it work because the height from this one is not the same. You can see there's a gap there. So if you try to put this collar in there, it won't go all the way through, which is really frustrating because you have to keep it with the smaller, the older style. But if you swap this plate you could put this plate in there for the uh, for the VG if you had to put a new plate in there. But most of the time you don't even have to replace that. So it's not a big deal. So those are the differences in the older plate and the newer one. This one has a deflector that just goes straight down. The other one, some of them had a deflector that came up. But they actually revised that to the same one that this one had. So they're pretty much the same thing. And then these parts for the actual actuator to move the nozzle up and down, the VG has the mount on the other, the opposite side. So you can see these are the same direction. But for this one, you have to adjust it after you put the whole turbo together. Versus this one, you have to adjust it before you put the turbo together. But I'll show that when I assemble it in a few minutes. And uh, of course, this you can see where that the VG has the different thread pitches for the other style bolt. These are thicker for the revised ones than the older style is not as thick. So they have a skinnier bolt thread. And then uh, as far as these pieces here, you can see like they're actually the same for both models. But the biggest thing is that it seems like after a while these things just get worn out and you see there's a lot more play in this one and there's not as much with this one this is a newer one it's only got like 15,000 miles but uh keep in mind that if they do get so much play they could eventually break the bushings off so it might be a good idea to go ahead and replace those if yours has a ton of play on it or just find a way to fix it i was thinking of just drilling that out and then putting in a thicker bushing so it takes up the difference in the play but i haven't done anything with it yet it's just kind of something i was thinking about doing to fix that one also there's a 
rear ring that goes on the exhaust housing. This one goes on top here, but the older models, or some of the older models that had a different style ridge here, actually had this ring inside a groove in the exhaust housing. But those are like really early models. This is uh, newer on some of the 351 ones as well. This one also had the same style. They're uh, thicker here. The one that has the style where it's in the bearing housing is thinner and it'll have a groove in the exhaust housing where that one sits. If you want to purchase our rebuild kit, I will leave a link for that in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're interested in learning how to rebuild this turbo, please watch our other video which will be on the rebuild which will be something like HE351VE turbo rebuild.